good afternoon. Welcome to Lunch Bites. I'm Pastor Rich, lead pastor here at Lake Missionary Church, and I'm joined today by Corinthian. She's our youth director and uh, online director. And we're so glad you're here today uh, to join us. Um, of course, we know Corinne is new, new here with us and uh, new as uh, the online director. And we just thought we'd have a conversation today a little bit about ministry. So, um, Corinne, if there's something you would like to know, what, what would that be? What would be one question you have? So I guess one of my bigger questions is what has been some of your challenges in ministry? Challenges. There's, there's always a lot of challenges. Um, one of the things is that seminary teaches you a lot of things, except what you really need to know. Um, so the challenge, the biggest challenge is kind of learning as you go, uh, because you know you're going to mess up and you're going to miss the mark in some areas. Um, I think another thing that is important is um, you can generally have relationships with people and they're generally people you choose to have relationships with. But in church ministry, you don't necessarily get to choose who you have a relationship with because you're in ministry. You have to have a relationship with everybody and you're not always going to have that great relationship with people. And uh, so one of the struggles um, that I've faced is when um, you have disagreements or you have different ideas and um, people aren't willing to come to the middle to, to come to some kind of conclusion. Um, I remember uh, at, a, at a church that I served at um, having a, a family that was, that was mad at me and um, because, um, and I, I really don't know the real because, I was on. I served on one of the boards, and there was a timetable with which they did things on the board, and um, so I told them that you know they had till this date to get something in to get you know some help and, and whatnot, and uh, the board ended up uh, passing out the help before the date. So the board was what messed up. Well, it didn't matter because I was the one that told them, you know, the, the date, which was the date that it was supposed to be. Uh, the board went back and apologized that we shouldn't have done it early you know all this it didn't matter uh, so the the anger was was at me um so there's always that that relational aspect that can be a challenge um it's it's something that's um that you get used to um mm -hmm. you do your best one of the things that they've always told us or you know i've, I've had other pastors tell me is that you know, your best friend is never at church mm -hmm. um, because you know there, there's going to come a day when you're going to leave that church and that best friend's still going to be there. Um, I, I had an opportunity this week to uh, talk to one of my friends from a church in, in Massachusetts, and I I had shared a little bit about that conversation with him, and um, it's just it's hard how close we were, mm -hmm. and then we left, and you know so we're 12 hours away. Um, uh, so, you know, you lose those friendships. You're not as close to those friends. Um, that's, a, that's another really big challenge um, with that. So you're new to ministry. Yes. What has been your biggest challenge in getting all into ministry and whatnot? So, like you said, it's kind of a learn-as-you-go process. And especially being within my first year of ministry, I... You know, I struggle with, you know, wanting to do good and not wanting to upset anybody and, you know, wanting to make sure things go like correct and there's no mistakes and there's no mess ups. But I mean, that's life in general, like nothing's perfect. You're going to mess up, you're going to stumble, you're going to fall. And, and so I think for that, for me is just realizing like, okay, I'm learning, I'm growing and I have, you know, the support around me. Um, and like you said, having that friend that's not at the church that you're at. So, you know, I have my best friend who lives about an hour and a half away. And so if there's something that I may be doubting myself with or just questioning if that's the right direction to go, you know, she's kind of my um, go-to person to just kind of pray over it with it and just you know, encourage me and, um, you know, kind of just be that person for me whenever I'm kind of questioning because you know she she's going through online the online process to become um, a minister and so you know she kind of has 
that knowledge base. And so if I'm kind of questioning certain things, it's just, it's good to have. But it's, yeah, I see, I'm seeing a lot of the struggles that, you know, you, you mentioned and um, finding my way and knowing it's okay to mess up and, you know, it's a, it's a learning process, but, you know, ultimately it's also exciting at the same time because it's, you know, when God calls you into ministry, you know you're doing the work he wants. Mm -hmm. And so it's also kind of just yeah. of that. One of the interesting things is as we, as we're talking and, and going through this, it's, it's interesting as I think this also plays into real life, mm -hmm. all, all these all these struggles, though we can we can choose our relationships. I mean, I've had friends that I've chosen that and, um, that I had great relationships with, but I can look back on it and say, well, they weren't good for me. Mm -hmm. you know, they were they were the wrong person. And, uh, there's there's people I look back on that you know I'm no longer you know in their life. I don't you know not because of anything anybody did. You, you just fall away. Um, so there are those those challenges that we have with, with friendship and, and going through uh, relationships and building those relationships. Mm -hmm. um, I think one of the things that church struggles with, a capital C church, not, not necessarily like, but a uh, capital C church is this, this idea of relationship that when we have disagreements, we get mad at each other and we walk away, mm -hmm. you know? And we, we don't see that in scripture. That's not what, you know, what it ever, uh, we've ever been told to do. I mean, I think of, day, uh, of, of Paul and uh, Peter, when they had their uh, little dust up, mm -hmm. they still served God. They were still friends. They still, you know, they may not have been best friends anymore, but I mean, they were still friends. They still depended on one another and still did the ministry together. I, I see today that, you know, if, if somebody gets mad, if, if I've done something, if I've made a decision in church, if somebody gets mad, then they leave. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and that's um, that's hard, especially in ministry. That's going to be hard. But it's it's true in in real life that you know when we have um, people in our lives that we don't agree with and, and whatnot, we have just a disagreement. We see it now. I mean, you know, if you're on Facebook, I mean, how many times have you been unfriended this month? Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, you know. Um, and that's that's what happens because of, you know politics, religion, sports. I mean, all of it. I mean, it's just really and it's silly stuff. And for me, like I'm such a non-confrontational person that I don't, you know, I don't like upsetting people. I don't like hurting people's feelings. And and so for me, I struggle with that because it's like, okay, I just made someone mad. Or even if it's like I'm upset, it's like, okay, that's a part of life. Things are gonna happen. Like things, people aren't going to agree with me. I'm not going to agree with people. And. I have to be okay with um, the criticism, and and I actually like I accept it. Like I want people to come to me, and like even with my friends and people that you know those friendships that were broken, you know, eventually we sat down and we're like, okay, you know, this is kind of what my point of view was. This was your point of view, and this is kind of why I was hurt. And the friendship wasn't all the way mended, but there was at least this understanding of how we were feeling and. Um, so that's definitely something I'm kind of taking, you know, from my personal life, but also bringing into ministry that it's like, you know, there are going to be those situations that, you know, there is going to be that confrontation, but it doesn't mean we're not going to continue to serve God together, that we're not going to continue to move forward in our ministry. It's just sometimes you have to sit down and just have a heart to heart and that's okay. Mm -hmm. As long as it's not like a, as long as it's done in love and it's not like a screaming match or anything like that, you know, right. like you can have those confrontations and those disagreements, you know, as long as it's talked about in a loving and accepting way. Fictional evidences against reality, mm -hmm. fear. I, I think that's that's our biggest issue with dealing with conflict is mm -hmm. fear. We're so afraid of what's going to happen mm -hmm. that we just, we paralyze ourselves instead of you know, in a relationship, in a friendship that we're close to one another, then we should be able to come and say, you know, this, you know, this happened, you know, you, you, you offended me with this, or you hurt my feelings, or, you know, and what we find out generally is when you have two people that come together, you find out, well, I didn't think of it that way at all. Mm -hmm. And it's just something, you know, just simple and easy that, you know, is resolved. And, and we, but we get paralyzed with mm -hmm. this fear. And I've, you know, I've been in those situations where someone's come, just come at me and just 
yelled and said, you know, like, you should have done this, this, and this, or this is, like, was not okay. That really, like, made me mad and just the thing ended. Mm -hmm. But then I've also had people that have been like, you know, this is, you know, the way you approach this, this hurt my feelings in this way. This is how I was feeling. This is how I was hurt. Mm -hmm. And I was able to really sit back and see it from their perspective, like, okay, you know, I, I see how those actions maybe did actually hurt you. And we're able to come to that understanding. But yeah, the, the fear of things and just, it gets kind of in the way of stuff. Yeah, I always uh, encourage people, if you're gonna, if you're gonna deal with a, with a confrontation like that, you're gonna come, come to their, always come with the idea that this is the way I feel. Mm -hmm. Don't say this is what you did, because if you say this is what you did, you just put a wall up. Mm -hmm. But if you come with, hey, I feel like you did, or I feel like I was, you know, whatever that feeling is, that doesn't that doesn't uh, cement that feeling. Mm -hmm. That's just how I feel. And then in the midst of your conversation, you figure out, okay, that wasn't what happened at all, and you know, and you're able to have a conversation. But as soon as you start accusing one another, that's when things happen that you know just it's it's bad. So mm -hmm. um, one of the things is as we uh, also talk about. Uh, having these relationships and dealing with these conflicts and things like that. In real life, have you found it easier or harder if you let the conflict go? Like just ignore it? Just ignore it. Mm -hmm. Harder. Mm -hmm. Cause it's, you know, it just sits there. It's not resolved. And so, you know, the anger and the frustration and the wondering like, okay, are they really that mad at me? Or what did I do wrong? Or, you know, how mad are they? It just, all of those thoughts is just a spiral. And so then it just ends up damaging things more than, than helping by pushing it to the side. Mm -hmm. So yes, that those conversations can be difficult, but when you're able to give it to the Lord and, you know, seek guidance in your words and your actions and do it, you know, in love, you're able to get it resolved. Mm -hmm. And, you know, those feelings are, justified and understood and and you know you have peace about it whereas if it's just ignored it, it bubbles until it just kind of overflows and it's not a good thing yeah and i think out of, out of our fear that's the way we, we yeah. like to handle it it's okay if we just ignore it it'll go away but it never does it mm -hmm. just eats at you that's why it's it's always important to deal with that conflict right up front right off the bat as soon as as soon as you're offended or you know something has happened mm -hmm. deal with it get it get it over with the more you also sit and think about it the more you talk yourself out of it mm -hmm. you know um, you start to just uh, get into this whole conversation with yourself that okay that isn't what happened and you know this we, we can't have those kind of conversations with ourselves we need to step forward and, and have those conversations with others. So mm -hmm. um, I, I think it's it's important for us to deal with conflict and uh, build those relationships, whether it's in ministry mm -hmm. or outside of ministry, uh, it's the same same type of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, even in ministry, we get we have fear about dealing with those conflicts and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, so that's, that's a great, a great uh, thought today. So um, we're glad that everybody joined us. Um, we are going to uh, hopefully see you this weekend at uh, Lake Live, either uh, at live.lmcangola.org or in person here at, uh, at the campus here at 9030 West US 20. Uh, service starts at 10. We'd love to have you out here. We'd love to have you a part of what we're doing here. God is doing great things here and uh, it's really exciting. So we want you to be involved in that. So I just ha hope that you have a great afternoon and a great weekend. We'll be back with you next week. Have a great weekend.